Good morning. It is Easter morning 2013 and we want to welcome you to church here at Calvary. It's a special morning because, well, Jesus of course has risen from the dead. That makes it special first of all. But we also get to baptize Ray Lynn and Aiden today and especially welcome to all of the family here. I won't ask you to identify yourselves. It might take a little while, but we do want to welcome each and every one of you here. Hope your time of worship here is just blessed and uh, Thanks for supporting Addison and Katie and the kids. It's such a gift to be able to be at this spot here this morning. And uh, thanks to everybody else, too. Uh, hopefully, uh, you are blessed as you worship. If you would like to, if you were thinking about joining a church or becoming part of a church, there's little blue cards around here somewhere. You can fill it out and put it in the offering. And uh, we would love to get to know you as we grow in Christ together. It's Easter morning. We're going to sing some songs about the resurrection. We're going to experience a resurrection in the, you know, as we go through this baptism. And we're going to learn and grow together as the body of Christ. We pray it is an abundant blessing to you all. Let's stand here and say hi to each other this morning as we continue in worship. So this morning we get to do profession of faith and baptism. Baptism. I'm seeing my niece out there. Welcome. I, uh, so many people here. It's just wonderful to see you. It's uh, one of the unique privileges of being a pastor is just seeing what God is doing in some people's lives. And I wish we had time to share some stories this morning. But this whole resurrection thing is just so much a part of the Christian faith. And profession of faith is part of that. Where as kids, we baptize our kids in this church as a symbol that God loves us and our children. And then as we grow up, at some point in time, we get a chance to accept and, a, and adopt and step into that faith as adults. And this morning, Ad Addison and Katie are going to do just that. Katie grew up in this church for quite a while, and Addison grew up in another church, but it's the same church in terms of identifying with Christ. And it's been a, just an incredible joy to meet you over the last half a year. Just, in, just such a gift. And... Uh, Broader family, thank you so much for whatever you've done to help these people become who they are and who they're becoming. And also their kids. We're going to baptize their kids. And some of you might come from churches where they, only adults are baptized. So you're thinking, what is up with this church baptizing kids? Well, the church has baptized kids for a couple thousand years. So it's, first of all, it's not that strange. But we do it because, because God loves us and our children. God loves us while we were yet sinners and even while we were yet babies because we don't have to wonder, okay, God loves me and I gave my life to him, but what happens to my child if perhaps something bad happens to them? Do they go to heaven? Do they go somewhere else? And the Bible states really clearly that God makes a covenant with us and our broader families. And in this culture, often we think of uh, salvation as such an individualistic thing, and it kind of is, but what God does is he saves families. And I look at this extended family, maybe a couple families, and God is a God of families. And more and more in the last even 20 years, instead of individuals just coming to faith, uh, groups are coming to faith, group of friends, groups of families. And it's such a gift to see uh, you all here, but also to realize that this is truly a family thing. And even though Aiden and Ray Lynn don't exactly know what's going on. You know you're going to get some water on your head in a minute, right? But, but God loves you guys, even if you don't know all the things about God that you someday will. The other part of this is Addison and Katie are going to commit to raising their kids. And you all, as a church and family, are also going to commit to helping Addison and Katie raise their children in the knowledge of God. And of course, Aiden's dad, Josh, is here. Um, where... I kind of lost. Okay, over there. And so we're also going to pray for you as you help raise Aiden in the knowledge of God. And so that's just an incredible gift to be part of that this morning. And uh, what a privilege. So I'd like to invite Addison and Katie up here, and along with the elder, uh, Raj Lamer. And we're going to ask you some questions. And maybe if you stand over there, that'll set us up in a little bit to do the baptism. And so we've talked over the last half a year and asked you some questions and you've asked us some questions and this morning I'm just going to ask these questions as uh, so we all hear the questions and your answer. So, do you profess your faith in God and in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and do you affirm the promises God made to you and your children in his word? Do you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins and do you commit your lives unreservedly to him? Do you commit to continually learn more about God 
and his word as part of a community of faith to both learn from and in time teach this community. Your kids will grow older and they won't distract you every single moment. So someday you'll be able to actually do this. <laughs> um, to teach this community about what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. And do you promise to instruct Aidan and Rayland by your word and example in the way of salvation through Jesus Christ? Do you promise to pray for them and to teach them to pray? Do you promise to nurture them within the body of believers as citizens of Christ's kingdom? And do you trust God with the lives of Aidan and Ray Lynn, understanding that they are not only your children, but also children of God? What is your answer? And you can reply saying, we do, God helping us. Yes, we do, God helping us. Amen. Amen. Well, should we let the kids come up? Come on up, right then. I think if you just let her go, she's going to come up. All right. Now she's got a smile on her face. <laughs> Roger, you want to take care of this? So we use water in baptism. And we use it for a couple of different reasons. Water is a symbol of a couple of different things. Aiden, if you put your head underwater, can you breathe underwater? Have you ever tried it? I wouldn't try it either because all that happens is you get a whole lot of sputtering and that's not fun. We use baptism because you can't breathe under it. And if, if we would actually dip you in water, you can just let her run. She's fine. We'll catch her in a little bit and we'll baptize her. If you dip your head underwater, you can't breathe. And if we would immerse you, put you underwater, and then bring you back out, it's a symbol of our dying and rising to Christ. Now, sometimes they just take the pitcher and pour water over, and that's more of a symbol of the pouring of the Holy Spirit. And today we're just going to sprinkle some water on Ray Lynn when we catch her again as a symbol of God sprinkling the Holy Spirit on her. And she's already full of life. But as we do that, it's a symbol of the Holy Spirit filling her with his life. And uh, we allow kids to be kids in church primarily because they are kids. And I remember when I was younger, my mom, is my mom here? Yeah, my mom's here. So my older brothers were terrible in church. And uh, she had this pen. It was like this long. Not a, not a writing pen, but a pen. And she would take this thing and jab it in her legs every once in a while. But she doesn't remember that, and they don't remember that either. But I was like four. I was terrified of that thing. Um, and it's okay. But we allow kids to be kids in church because they are kids. And normally we have kids programs for them, but we don't. So I'm going to get, hey, Raylan, Raylan. Let's see if she lets me get her. Let's go. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Here you go. I'll give you to your mom. That way you like it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, Raylan, you see this water here? Do you like water? I'm going to put some on your head. So, Raylan, Kalinda, I baptize you in the name of the Father. Of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you all of your days. Amen. Do you need a towel? You're good, eh? God bless you. <laughs> and Josh, I'd like to invite you up here as the dad of Aiden. And I'll ask you some similar questions. So do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? You can just, do you commit to serving him? Yeah. And as the dad of Aden, do you commit to being his dad and raising him in the knowledge of God and training him up in righteousness and helping him become part of the church and the body of Christ? Yes. Amen. Amen. Aiden, can you come and stand, maybe actually you can stand right in front of this. And you can face the congregation if you like. And I'm just going to take this water like I explained. So Aiden, Michael, Vice, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Aiden, may the Lord bless you all of your days and may be filled with the Spirit and know him. Amen. Amen. 
So congregation, you have a role in this too. And as much as she's running around, it's not that a good challenge. She'll sugar up and when she turns about seven, she'll be embarrassed. So <laughs> that's not the problem. The thing is that we all need a lot of instruction in the Lord. So I have some questions for you, congregation, then I'll give you the answers to respond. Someone better grab Aiden. He's going to run all over. You want to come up here? All right. So congregation of the Lord Jesus Christ, do you welcome Addison and Katie into the body of Christ? Amen. She's leaving. Someone do your job and grab her. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Will you embrace them and support them in their walk with Christ? Will you pray for them and help them to grow together in Christ and for Christ? As his spirit-filled disciples in this place. So the answer to these questions is, with God's strength, repeat that. And by his, by his spirit, we do promise. And do you welcome these children as children of the covenant and promise to disciple them and help them grow into the grace and the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ? You say, we do? God helping us. And with the same joy that these children have, we commit to growing in Christ with them. Amen. I'd like to invite the family to come up here and pray for Aiden, Raylan, Addison, Katie, family and elders. If you'd like to come up here and pray for them, that would be wonderful. And Rob, could you grab that mic and bring it up here too, that congregational mic? And uh, we're going to lay hands on them. So if you just gather around them. And we'll let her holler. If she wants to holler, that's fine. Just come on up. This is a symbol of what the body of Christ is. And our own lives are fractured, broken, filled with distractions, filled with things that we uh, maybe were hoping didn't happen, wouldn't happen. But this is what needs to happen for us to continue to grow. Family needs to come around and be unified in, in Christ for the common purposes of learning to follow him. So I'm going to start with prayer. And then if anybody would like to, they can have this mic. And we'll pray around this. Because this is real life. This isn't some sort of sanitized version. This is real life. So let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your peace that passes all understanding. But we ask that you would fill Addison and Katie with your spirit. That you would fill Aiden and Raylin with your spirit. And that you bring a peace that passes all understanding. And a knowledge that sets us all free from everything in our past and equips us to, you, to be your servant. So we ask that you be with Josh also that you would fill him up and help him to become the man that you're calling him to be. We pray all these things in Jesus and continue to pray. and their children, help them to all become strong and grow in their Christian faith. Lord, I thank you for the work that you've done in their lives, for um, guiding them through, through challenges, through difficulties, and, mm -hmm. and your faithfulness to them. And I ask that as they continue to seek you, that you would show yourself to them and, and guide them, encourage them. Help us as your people too, Lord, to, uh, to teach, to admonish, and uh, to encourage them as well in their faith. And thank you, Lord, for bringing them here. Mm -hmm. Father, watch over the entire family as we pray for 
pray for these children and <coughs> decide as they grow and be the best one to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for, for Katie and Addison and the growth that they've, that they've had in this, just even this past year. And, and I just want to thank you for Aiden. Thank you for Raylynn. Thank you for Josh being here. And thank you for all the extended family. And I want to say thank you to our church for just blessing us in, a, in such a huge, huge way. Thank you for your presence today. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> We pray all these things and so much more. And we commit to continuing to pray. And we pray that you would equip them to be everything that you call them to be by your spirit and by your strength. We ask that you be with them in great days and in dark days. I ask that you give them wisdom in the midst of confusion and clear in the midst of obstacles, Lord. We ask that you be with everyone gathered around here that you would equip this family more and more by your spirit to see you and be set free to serve you. In the name of Jesus, we pray and praise you in all these things. Amen. 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 <laughs> so we're going to take an offering, a financial offering. There's so many ways to give uh, time, our uh, talents, our treasures, or other ways. But we're going to take an offering and we're going to sing a song uh, that's in Christ alone. It's fitting for the resurrection. It's fitting for this time. And we pray that it would be our life story as we walk together. So we're going to sing in Christ alone and the deacons will collect the offering.